Hello, and welcome to yet another edition of The Very Least That I Can Do. And we have some guests today in the form of the brand new iPhone 6s, which just arrived about 10 minutes ago. And I was about to start playing with them, and then I thought, hey, look, people like this unboxing stuff, so why don't I unbox? Got the iPhone 6 Plus, got the iPhone 6, and a collection of studly cases. Let us put the studly cases aside, and let us also put... This iPhone 6 aside, and we'll start off with the iPhone 6 Plus. First of all, very nice, cute, uh, uh, cute case like this. It's uh, nicely embossed, so if you want to pull like a surface mold off of it, I'm sure you can do that. Or maybe it's a very disappointing Christmas card for people who will uh, receive this and then think that, oh my gosh, he sent me an iPhone 6 Plus. No, he didn't. He just tricked us with a nicely embossed card. As usual, the usual... Uh, Pointy, pointy, very nicely sharp cornered iPhone box, high quality stuff. Uh, and here it is, iPhone 6 Plus. Uh, I got it in uh, steel gray, slate gray, spaceship gray, whatever they want to call it right now. Uh, we take off the protective prophylactic thusly, save it for, once again, Halloween is coming, and as I said, trick-or-treaters, maybe they can't get an iPhone 6 Plus at this point, but maybe they'll enjoy having the protective uh, protective cover. So it's, it's, they certainly like that better than, you know, the stale Snickers bars I usually give them. Uh, so here that is. Uh, now, see, people are kind of worried about this protruding camera lens right there. I don't think it's a big deal. I think it's a big deal if you complained about them when they were, you saw them on other Android phones. Let's put this aside for a second, because as you can see, you can lay it flat, and there is... Let's microphone that. So there is going to be a little bit of wobble there, but can you tell me how much time you spend actually holding uh, or operating your phone like this on the table? And it's certainly not wobbly enough that it would interfere with uh, how you actually use that. And let's see if it's already charged up. Um, the couple of quick design changes, if you're not familiar with it so far, uh, they did move the wake sleep switch off of the top there, and they moved it here onto the side. Uh, but otherwise, it's a very familiar phone. This is, uh, I'm having the same <laughs> real uh, pleasure reactions that I had when I tried it out uh, at the press event uh, a couple of weeks ago uh, because uh, you really can't appreciate how much I missed having this these curved corners uh, because the old iPhone design, that was very nice, especially when you compared it as a contrast to what they had been doing before. But And it, uh, the hard edges also kind of help you lock the back of it uh, into your hand a little bit. But this is just so much more comfortable. When I say comfortable, uh, maybe, I mean, maybe I actually mean pleasing. Just this sense of I'm holding something very, very soft, like a, like a river stone in my hand, uh, and boy, do I like it. Also, there's also this idea of how uh, pleasant this large screen size is. If you aren't, uh, if you haven't been using Android phones or Windows phones, this might bug you out a little bit because, again, this compared to this is a real big deal. Uh, but don't let again. I, I have been using phones like this for the past uh, year and a half. I've been testing them for much longer than that. Uh, and you quickly kind of realize that, oh, this is kind of small and this is not quite as big as I would like it to be. This is a lot more comfortable to work with, especially if you find yourself using all kinds of different types of media. media. While we're doing comparisons, so that's a 5-inch Nexus, uh, Nexus 5. Uh, here is a Samsung Galaxy Note 2 uh, from a couple years ago. Uh, as I said earlier, uh, this the six is a little bit a little bit taller and a little bit uh, narrower. Uh, a lot of people, some people uh, were comparing it to uh, this, the uh, Nokia 1570, which is probably the biggest phone that I have, like real for real phone that I happen to have inside the office. Uh, but as you can see, it's not focus. Come on, there you go. Uh, as you can see, it's really not quite as as huge as this. Uh, it's not that much smaller, to be uh, to be real, but nonetheless, it's just smaller enough, I think, to make it a little bit more practical. Uh, there were a couple of pockets that this was 
just it fit into but it was just a little bit snug this is probably going to be a lot easier to deal with even though again it doesn't look like that much uh, but uh, especially when you consider the uh, ios interface i think that's going to be a pretty uh, pretty safe deal oh uh, let's see and let's also compare it to uh, this ipad mini i do think of it as something that is going to be react you're going to react to it like it's an ipad nano almost uh, because it's uh, it's just that nice that, that nice step up in screen size. Uh, I, I, again, having used larger Android phones, I really miss the difference between this and this. And so the step up from this to this, uh, I think, is just going to be marvelous. Uh, so let's put that aside. Let's continue our archaeology into the world of. I've got a couple other things to show you, but let's leave that off camera for for now. Uh, let's see what else you got here. Focus. Come on, Crane Cam 3000. There you go. Uh, and so you get your get your little tiny marshmallow adapter, and of course you get your fancy schmancy Apple headphones. You've seen that before. Lightning cable. I've seen that before. And once again, the uh, the uh, custom Jello mold that you can use to make oddly interesting uh, Jello molds for your party guests or house guests. Inside here, you have secret orders that has to be read in, t in the presence of uh, people with diplomatic status. Apple stickers. Focus, man, come on. And the usual, uh, here's, here you are, here's your instructions for people who have not ever used an iPhone before. That is disturbing me. And all this sort of stuff that uh, tells you that uh, the world is a place of, uh, of, uh, of hardship and woe, uh, that happiness is an illusion, and that we're all doomed. Uh, Werner Herzog, as a matter of fact, uh, wrote paragraphs 3 through 11 of this. Definitely worth reading, uh, especially if you're a little bit too uh, concerned that uh, your children are growing up uh, with a sense of optimism in the world. So all that kind of expected stuff. Okay, now let's go on to the iPhone 6, now that I've changed the webcam settings so that the autofocus will not screw us up again. Uh, but yes, here's the iPhone 6, once again, with the, the quality of these boxes. Man, is there... Uh, who do they hire away from whatever box magnate company to design these boxes? Because they were perfectly sharp, high quality, even, even on the cheap phones. And so let's let's take take some time to count off how long it takes. If I just lift this up by the edges, how long it takes to release the inside part from the outside part? Ready? One, two, three, four, five. And that's how long it takes. That is how precisely fitted that box is. I mean, if you save these, because if you if you got a hamster that's maybe on its last legs, coughing a little bit, maybe it looks like he's eleven months old, about about to not make it to twelve months, that you could not ask for a better coffin for a rodent than the iPhone box. Okay, so here is the iPhone six, or the iPhone six nothing compared to the other one. If we want to designate it, once again we remove the prophylactic, and another. Halloween gift for kids if they show up too late to get the Snickers bars. Uh, and this one is in uh, silver as opposed to uh, the space gray. There you go. Uh, again, these are very, very much siblings, as you can see. There's almost no stylistic difference between the two. Uh, the placement of buttons uh, is uh, the same. The placement of the SIM card is the same. Once again, they've moved the sleep-wake button, uh, which is, I don't think the, the old placement was a problem, but I think the new one is even better. Again, based on my experience with Android phones that usually have it on the side, because you take this out of your pocket, you flick it like that, and there it is. Uh, also, I mean, the, 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 the palm of your hand is here, and that gives you uh, pressure to go against it. So that's another uh, really, really nice little uh, movement that they made uh, and so let's make sure this actually works and indeed it does here it is lighting up while it's lighting up here we get the easy bake oven tray for kids who cannot be trusted with 60 watt light bulbs once again we have another uh, essay from Werner Herzog explaining to you that once again uh, the sun is a mockery of heat and light it only burns us and gets us used to the light so that when we are chilled with reality it will uh, only seem even more harsh than it is uh, instructions guide and again this more apple stickers so uh, if i ever get a third fourth or fifth car i'll have these nicely covered hello bonjour 
uh, marshmallow power connector. Same things. You've seen these things before. And uh, let's see. Next to that, uh, so this, and, and once again, you see uh, these two side by side. A lot of people are asking me about the size difference. Like, is this really easy to handle? Uh, I mean, well, here's a, here's... Here's a can of lemon lime uh, seltzer. Uh, you try to figure out uh, what this is going to be like for you. Uh, I'll even put it right side up for you. Uh, it's it's very very manageable. I don't think that you're going to have a big problem with it. Uh, again, putting it face down. A lot of, again, a lot of people seem to be very worried about this bulge. And once again, uh, for the camera. And once again. But again, if you are really that freaked out by the idea of having a phone face up on a table and it wobbles just a tiny bit if you are leaving it on there, okay. Um, the, the, bigger, the, the bigger issue is going to be will this get all scratched up? Because it does stick out a little bit, so uh, it's comp it's going to be the first. It'll be like likely to be the first thing to get in contact with things when you you know toss it across the table. I think that this bezel I'm betting is big enough to prevent that from happening. Also, uh, I believe the cover of this lens is sapphire, very very hard to scratch. So I only time will tell. That's the responsible thing to say. Uh, but as a consumer, I think that that's uh, I'm pretty confident that uh, that's not going to be a problem. I will say though that. God, would it have killed them to make the case a little bit thicker, and they would have removed that problem completely and maybe made it easier to get in there, maybe made it, uh, it's it's a fallacy to say that they could have put a bigger battery in there because you don't know exactly what size components that they have to work with, uh, but yeah, I could, I, I've i always thought that the idea of making these thinner and thinner and thinner each time is not as big of a payoff as anybody might inside uh, Cupertino might think. Again, it's 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 very very pretty. And once again, man alive, having this nice rounded edges. I, I can't stress enough what a difference that makes and how this feels. Again, there was nothing pr nothing wrong with the old design, but once you start holding this in your hands and it's just so much smoother and again, it's it's a very contemplative sort of uh, thing to hold. Um but here is the size comparison. Again, it's bigger, certainly, but it shouldn't freak you out, I don't think. Uh, and it's still not the same uh, proportions. Uh, it's still the same proportions as it always always was. Here's another 4.7-inch phone. This is the uh, Moto X from last year, uh, and that's not... Uh, that's pretty much the same size. Of course, the difference between a phone like this is that this is it has has a nice smooth arched back. Uh, this is real uh, real nice thing to hold. And also, not as long as I have this out. Let me just show you. They've actually it's a curved back, but they they designed the curve so that it still is very very smooth. Uh, of course, if you touch it on the corners there, it gets the wobblies. But again, how much time do you actually spend with it on the table like this and 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 manipulating like that? I don't think that's a that's going to be a huge issue. But again, if you feel if you're a design wonk, if you like to talk about those things, by all means, go ahead and talk about those things. Um, I'm going to be posting a column later today uh, that has more stuff about uh, keyboards. Since I happen to have these keyboards out, I may as well show you. Uh, what some of these look like with the uh, iPhone uh, for uh, the iPhone 6 Plus. I'm really looking forward to how well it will. Uh, this will work as sort of a minimalist like computing platform. Here is the iWorks stand um, and matching Bluetooth keyboard, uh, and as you can see, that is kind of a nice little setup. That is just enough screen, I think, uh, that if I needed to make a if I was taking like a like a like it was this week, taking a one day one day one afternoon trip into New York for a meeting, and then I have to write a column based on what I saw at the at, at the meeting, uh, and I just want to be able to board my train with just this in my pocket. This iWorks keyboard, I think, is going to be is going to be the business because this is just one jacket pocket, and here I've got a really good uh, camera. I've got uh, internet connection. I've got. Uh, access to Google Docs. I certainly have access to Pages and other stuff like that. And it's a very attractive uh, little uh, uh, little package. I'm hoping for an even better version of this keyboard, uh, something that's a little bit uh, uh, com more comfortable to type in. But this this is this will do just nicely. And this is only about forty bucks. That's the iWorks I W E R K Z keyboard. And uh, since I seem to have enough videotape for an extended edition, let's see what it looks like with the cases on it. Uh, if you've really hassled by that bumped out camera lens, okay, you're, I mean, you're probably going to be putting it in a case anyway. So the iPhone Plus Shillocone case. 
silicone case, you said, right side up. And handy dot to tell you, here's how you peel it away. Peel away. Now it's no longer in pristine condition. And we slide it in like this. Nope, we slide it in like this. Because this will save wear and tear on the screen, the ultimate screen protector. It also pre prevents you from getting uh, any system notifications that might worry you. Like if you've got a sick relative uh, who, might, who might pull through a surgery, might not, best to just put this uh, put this case on this other way around until it all blows over, or at least until uh, you want to be free uh, to uh, get out of your movie. But yep, snaps in like this. Boy, the tolerances on this are really nice. It really does fit, feel like, you know, it was uh, designed uh, to have, you know, obviously not, not a single gap around it. And then uh, I think the other cool thing about it, not only does it get rid of the wobbles, uh, but it also uh, adds a little bit of grippiness to it, which I think is going to be pretty important, particularly with uh, the iPhone 6 Plus. Um, now, let me tilt uh, a crane. Let me show you one of the most massive features of Crane Cam 3000. You get to see that I did not shave this morning. I was so excited about uh, being up for the, for the FedEx man. So here is basic work shirt, and now here is iPhone 6 Plus in that work shirt. So yeah, that's periscoping quite a bit, uh, but this is why I think that it's going to be kind of important if you really are used to carrying your phone like this. It's going to be pretty important to have a rubberized case or even a microfiber uh, sleeve on it because once you t once you t start like bending over to pick up something, boy, that's coming right out. Uh, whereas I think it's not going to be quite so much of a problem with the uh, uh, with the six because you know it's a little bit, but that but that'll do. Uh, and so that's something to think about. Uh, but I think that people are going to be kind of inclined to use this uh, in a different way anyway. I'm not sure if it's going to be, hey, I'm going to carry this around day after day in my shirt pocket. The, the other thing, of course, because uh, I was in New York the other day, so maybe <laughs> people just walk around saying, thanks for the phone, sucker, yoink. So maybe you want to be a little bit more careful about uh, how you carry your phone around uh, if, <laughs> if, if you are concerned about uh, husky idlers and ne'er-do-wells uh, at the bus terminal uh, trying to get access to your fine technology. Thank you, CraneCam3000, the future of video podcasting. And so let's, just to make sure you get the full treatment, let's get this other case on there. So yeah, um, I'm pretty excited about this. I'm even, of course, more excited now that my one hour of experience is going to be expanded into actually being able to mess around with this all day long if I want to. Uh, and also I can walk around with it without the Apple security at the event uh, getting freaked out. So here we go. It's a little bit oops. it's a little bit tighter, but again, you want these to be tight. Yeah, that's a really pretty, pretty package. Um, and if it doesn't allow you to have like a million different color combinations like the Moto X phones do, uh, this is good enough. You can put some personalization on it, and I'm sure that other companies are going to be coming out with uh, even more inventive ones out there. Um, so I'm pretty darn happy with this. Uh, a lot of people have been asking me if I plan on switching back uh, from uh, from Android uh, to iOS, uh, and these two new phones are definitely a step in the right direction, particularly the 6 Plus. Uh, but not only that, but iOS 8 is also as big a factor as anything else because the features that it delivers will make these work as well as this. And there's a lot of reasons why I really wanted to move to Android, the way that uh, uh, apps can communicate with each other a lot better, the way that you don't have to really launch an app to get access to the f information and features of it. Uh, that was another big deal. And now iOS 8 seems to have brought a lot of those great things with it. Just the fact that you can have third-party software keyboards, boy, is that a big deal. So. Lots to be very, very happy about. Uh, certainly, I'll be writing and talking a lot more about these now that I have them in-house. Uh, but for now, enjoy Unboxing Day. This is Talk Like a Pirate Day, but no, I will not be talking like a pirate. Unless you thought that I was talking like a pirate all along, in which case those elocution lessons went for nothing. Damn it! Should not have hired that guy off of Craigslist. Anyway, thanks for watching.